Hi, I'm Alex Ineco and this is Akai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Today's word is modinha. Modinha. This is how we pronounce it in Brazil. Depending on, on, on where you come from in Brazil, depending on your accent, you can say modinha. Modinha. Okay? But, so it's acceptable. Modinha or modinha. Okay? I'm sorry that the D sometimes, where I come from, takes the G sound. So, Marginia, okay? Anyway, uh, it's, there are different ways to, um, to explain what a Marginia is. The one I prefer, and if you, if you look for different sources, you will find different uh, explanations. But the one I prefer is that Marginia is music by Brazilians in Portugal by the end of our, our Brazilian colonization. Okay, so 18th century in the court of uh, Maria I, Mary the, the first, who was known, at least we Brazilians, because obviously you understand, Portugal is for us Brazilians what Britain is for the United States. So uh, the crown of Portugal wasn't exactly very popular here in Brazil at this time. So, we call Maria I, Mary I, we call Maria I a louca, Mary I the mad one, the mad woman, or something like that. Because she really had issues, in, uh, mental health issues, and her son, John VI, Don Juan VI, uh, took the throne before, so he was the regent uh, prince, uh, before he, he took the crown. And at that at the that at that time he came to Brazil. The, the uh, royal, the Portuguese royal family moved to Brazil because Napoleon invaded Portugal. I'm not going to explain this, but there you know. Okay, at the same time that of the Napoleon expansion that he expanded to Austria, for example, he expanded to Portugal too, and the the royal uh, the Portuguese royal family moved to Brazil in one of the most interesting episodes of Brazilian history. Anyway. At that time, a little before that, at the end of the 18th century, that, that move happened in 1808, okay? Anyway, at the end of the 18th century, Brazilians who had settled in Lisbon, Portugal, uh, were creating some sort of more popular music uh, to the uh, sign to guitar. And in instead of the harpsichord and the pianoforte, which were still uh, used in the Portuguese court. So uh, the music created by Brazilians in the Portuguese courts, uh, kind of lyrical songs sung to the guitar, were called marginhas. And not there were Portuguese marginhas and Brazilian marginhas, but we're talking about Brazilian marginhas, and they were very similar. But ours, we tend to believe that they're more lyrical, etc., etc. Ours, as in Brazilian, I'm Brazilian, obviously. Anyway, the word marginha, which is diminutive to moda, moda, the, the inha uh, suffix is used to as a diminutive. So. Cidade, city, cidadezinha, small city. So, moda, modinha, small moda. But um, the word modinha then became a, became a, a genre. And in Brazil, later in the 19th and 20th century, this word is used much more freely as music sung generally to guitar, uh, in the porches with the moon and blah blah blah. Villa Lobos has a Tor Villa Lobos, Brazilian composer from the 20th century, has a very beautiful piece called Modinha. A corda vem ver a lua que passa na noite escura. That song is called Modinha, and it's obviously a tribute to these Modinhas of, of that time. Okay? But anyway, today in Brazil, if you, if you say Mordinha, it generally means any song lyrical uh, that can be sung to moonlight and on the porch. It's kind of 
general, a general term to song. Okay? Confusing. Eh? If you're Brazilian and you speak some English and you want to discuss this in the comments here, I'm open to discussion. Okay? Go ahead. Oh, have you subscribed to the channel? 